Jared Poland, Frono's Photo. Com, and this is a new series called 30 for 30, where I do 30 rapid fire critiques in 30 days, 15 Adorama picks, and 15 Squarespace rapid fire critiques. If you want to see all of the rapid fire critiques in one place, go ahead, click up on the screen right now. We'll take you over to the website to do that, but let's get into a critique. Here we go with another Adorama Picks rapid fire critique, a part of my 30 critiques in 30 days. And before we do that, if you haven't checked out Metal Prints and Adorama Picks and you've been wanting to make Metal Prints, I absolutely love them. They've given me a 30% off code to give to you guys. That is P X M E T F R O 30 to get 30% off all your metal print orders until September 30th, 2015. So take advantage of that if you've been wanting to get metal prints. And let's get into this rapid fire critique. So here we have photos, oh, need to go back. We've got Andrew Flores, his 10 photos that he put on Flickr. Canon EOS 6D, which is a full frame camera with the Tamron SP2470 2.8 VC, which people seem to absolutely love. So we've got this shot. Is this done in HDR? Hard to say, but I'm gonna venture to say yes which means that it's okay because it's hard to tell if it's HDR or not, but I definitely think it is due to the way that the trees are lit and the way that the, the ground is lit. So this is okay, okay, but I don't, I don't like the image that much. Um, I feel that it's just too wide. You're losing, there's no point of interest going on. Um, maybe a lower angle, wider. This rock is throwing me off, especially with this being so nice, this big, I mean, it's not your fault, but you could shoot it closer and step in front of the rock. Exposure, good. Uh, editing, good. All the other stuff that's fine, is meant to be fine, is good. It's just that there's not a lot of interest in this image, so I'm gonna move on. Now that is interesting. You see the difference between a eh and a ooh? There is a difference. This is shot, same thing. Ooh, 100 millimeter macro Canon. One of the best lenses out there on any system is that 100 millimeter uh, 2.8 macro L lens that they make. So this has interest. Not only do you have a spider web, but you've got water in the spider webs and you've got the sky and you've got, all, and you got the photographer in there. And this is nice, there's interest. Is that a bug? I can't tell if that's a bug. Is that Capitapillar? I don't know if it's a capital bill or, or not, but this is nice. There's interest to it because of the water droplets. It gives it a three-dimensional look. So very nice job right there. All right, uh, uh, Hiroshima. Wow, I wanna go there one day. I wanna go to Japan. Um, uh, uh, okay, so this definitely lacks interest. You know, if I need to sit here and try to find find something for it. it, it just lacks. What are we shooting this with one? Ah, Tamron 19 to 35, I've never even heard of that lens, D Digital Rebel XTI. Big difference, this must have been an older photo, yeah, taken on June 7th, 2013, so over two years ago, they must have upgraded since. Let's see, let's go back real quick. Yeah, they definitely upgraded since and they've gotten better. So. A lot of what I do when I'm critiquing photos is you have to take into consideration the talent level of the photographer. And one of the only ways I can do that, other than looking at the images and going, yep, they're really good, or nope, they have work to do, is that I have to go based off of the gear. And that's not, that's not always a telling sign. It could be very misleading. But in this case, seeing that they have shots with the Canon 6D, that are much better than with their Rebel camera and one from two, and I can look at the date, I can see that they've progressed over time and then I can make the assumption that they've gotten better. And, and so what I would say is get rid of shots that aren't that good that you took years ago. It's an, it's an evolving process creating a portfolio or your best, I, when I ask for your best 10 images or a photo story, I wanna see your best 10 images, which means if there's things that aren't the best, I'm gonna tell you to yank it and get it out of there, which is something like this. Make this black and white to begin with, high contrast. The composition is off. There's too much dead space over here. This seems to be the focus with the people. If I was to go ahead and get the composition better, I would consider it to be something along the lines of this. Now, I would want this to be further into the left of the frame. I mean, when I'm pointing at it, I want this to be further into the corner of the frame, juxtaposed by the people here. So it wouldn't be bad, but the composition has to be better. Um, this is okay. This is the 6D again. 
it's all right. Uh, I like the long exposure during the day to get the cars going back and forth. Try this at night and you'll get an even better image, especially with the city lit up. A long exposure will get the nice uh, trails, but it does work. I like that it's shot at either really early in the morning or late in the day because you have the nice shadows. So I do like it. it. It's okay. It's not the greatest in the world. Ooh, okay. So I just started shooting stars. I did it for the first time out at the Grand Canyon. It's not that hard. It's actually pretty easy to do. Under the, the quick tips, under 20 seconds of an exposure, wide open. So if you have a 2.8, shoot at 2.8, widest angle aperture, widest angle lens that you can find, and shoot up at the sky on a tripod. And you're gonna get shots like this if there's not a lot of light pollution. Now that's the quick overview. I like to do, I like to just shoot it with the sky without things in the foreground but that's to start. And people like to gain interest in the image, and that's what they did here, and I like it because it's like not just a starry, starry sky or a starry, starry night. You have the people in the photo as well, so that's nice. I do like this. Very nice job to be creative. What do we have here? We've got 60 again, F20, with an airplane flying over. What shutter speed? 1 250th of a second. Ah, see, it's at F20. I know what they're doing here. One, I absolutely love the photo. I love the concept, and I think it's all captured. You got one way, stop. I don't know what that says, and you've got a plane going the other way, which is a great juxtaposition from the one way. Now at F20, the shutter speed's at 1 250th of a second, which means the plane isn't gonna be frozen, but it shows some motion that it's still there. I don't know if that's right, and I don't know if that's wrong, but I think it works in this case. You've got the nice solar flare, the sun flare, and you've got the plane. The plane, the plane. Excuse me. Uh, so I think this works very nice job with that. Generally speaking, you wouldn't think that this was a good photo because it's a faucet that's dirty. Clean your freaking faucet. But, oh, that's done with the 24 to 70, 2.8 VC at 1 1,000th one of a second at 1600 ISO. This is great. There's emotion here. Now, perfectly centered. Love the drips, nice and captured it. Oh, see, that's why you're at one one-thousandth of a second. You capture the drip. I'm not sure why this one's falling off, but maybe that's because you're focused here and it's falling out of the focus plane because it's, well, it's at five, six, so mm, that's interesting. One thing to be careful about, this is very symmetric. There seems to be a little separation from the handle here, but no separation from the handle here. I would like you to make sure that you have it even touching. If it's gonna be touching on both edges, you have it touching on both edges. That's important to have when you're doing a symmetrical shot, but this is a nice photo and I like it. So we've got a leaf with a little bit of water. It's okay, the color is lacking. I don't think black and white would be better. I just don't know that, that it's that interesting of a shot just because it's a little bright right here. I mean, I love the separation of the rocks and then this goes out of focus and this goes out of focus. Very nice with the 24 to 70 shot at F4. It's just not that interesting to me as a shot. Maybe straight down over the top could be more interesting, but I'm not feeling that one as much. I, I feel this. I like this. I like these type of shots. Love the 70 to 200. I know what you're going for here. Um, blowing out, what is this? What do you call this stuff? Confetti or sparkles or what is it called? Somebody yell at me. Yell, yell at your screen right now and tell me what this is. Glitter, glitter, yay, thank you guys for helping me get the glitter term. I just wish that the contrast was up more on her face uh, and that it was focused. You gotta lock in focus on her, blow, tell her to blow the confetti or the glitter, and then boom, you capture it. I just, I wanna see the, the hands further down the, in the bottom of the frame, maybe here, her head centered more, and then bam, get it. But the bokeh, you know, the things blown out of focus look good. Moving forward, we got a dog. It kind of looks like the dog wants to take a crap. Um, it's not the best angle of the dog, but it's nice that you froze the motion. EOS M, whoa, that's the mirrorless camera with the 51.82 on there. Um, wow, I haven't seen a lot of EOS Ms because they're actually not in the United States yet, coming soon, but interesting. Interesting shot, not a big fan of it, and that EOS M does not have a viewfinder, but you have to pay for it separately if you want to add a viewfinder. Very nice set, really like the images in this set. Um, nice job seeing the progression from say two years ago 
Get that photo out of there from Hiroshima. That photo doesn't belong because it's not that good. And you've got much better images. Love the creativity. Love that you can take inanimate objects and bring them to life with, with interest. So very nice job with this set. And that is another 30 for 30 critique. If you haven't seen all the critiques or you want to see all of them, go to the link down below. Go over to the website where I have one post that lists all 30 of them. And if you haven't gotten any metal prints yet, like that airplane photo would look great as a metal print. That Oh, you know what would be a great metal print? The, the spider web would look awesome on an aluminum print. So if you want to get a discount, 30% off your entire aluminum order at adoramapix.com. Use the code that's up on the screen. Take advantage of that. It's good until September 30th, 2015. And that is another Adorama Pix Rapid Fire Critique. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya. To check out all the videos from this 30 for 30 series, go ahead and click up on the screen right now. It's going to take you over to the post over on froknowsphoto.com where you can see all 30 posts once they are live.